How's it going everybody, Ben from Much Pokemon here, and in this video I have something really special. I have this Pokeball and this Great Ball tin, but these aren't just any tins, as you can see right here. These are Chinese tins, so I'm really, really hyped to open these, because if we look at the site right here, these appear to feature booster packs that may contain Celebrations cards. For us, Celebrations is about two and a half years past, so I'm really, really curious to see what these contain. Also, the packaging itself is... For some reason, I find it really, really cool. You have a lot of security measures. You have this sticker right here to see that it's genuine. And you also have these ones covering the opening of the tin. And these ones are the exact same that you have on the first anniversary box. Because if I try to rip this open or try to rip this off, you can see it leaves sticky residue where it just says Pokemon. And there's no way you can reattach this perfectly. It doesn't even stick. So this is a really, really good way to make sure these aren't, like, messed with or anything. But anyways, let's crack this one open. I assume you do it the same way as we do it over here. Yes, we do. And we have two packs. Okay. I'm really curious to see what these packs contain. I guess only two packs. So this will be a very, very short opening. But, hey. Nonetheless... We have two of those right here, so I guess this one will contain a random Celebrations card or something. And then the other pack is just a normal expansion. I've actually heard of these two before. Um, let's open this single pack first, if I can. If not, I have to grab scissors, but that was easy to open. Okay, let me get the card out without damaging it, please. There we go. And let's just turn it around. Okay, so we have the Surfing Pikachu, so these are... Celebration cards without the stamp, though. That is really, really interesting. Lots of something shiny, a classic version. And we have the Dialga. Yo, this looks way different from the ones that we have over here. Okay, that's super, super sparkly. Super sparkly. Let's put them over here, I suppose. And we'll just rip into this jumbo pack. So this is a so-called fat pack. Fat pack because it has 25 cards in one pack. Really, really hefty boy. And let me just rip this open. And there is, of course, going to be a bunch of comments in here. So we'll just sit back, enjoy the show, and then we'll have some hopefully good pulls at the end here. We have a Heracross there. We have a little butterfly or something. Very, very cute illustrations. We have a Surviper, Gen 3 up in this. Gen 3 up in this. A Wool Zubat. That's cool looking. I like that. This is also super cool illustrated. Man, man, oh man. Super cool. Okay, we're getting to the item cards. <laughs> we're getting to the item cards. Can't be long now. Getting to the Tyrannus. Flannery. Here we go. Here's our holographic. Then we have another holographic with the Gengar. Then we're getting a a full art or a character rare. Nice. And then we have a reverse. Another reverse and that's it. Okay. So I'm guessing... Yeah, this was our pull for, for that one. It's kind of hard to find out with these jumbo packs. Really hard to find out. So this is what we've gotten in the Pokeball tin. Let's see what we can find in the Great Ball tin. First of all, we do have to rip this one open. I'm going to do it like this again. There we go. And then I'll actually try to open this one. And hopefully not bend the cards while taking them out. Well, it's, it's harder than it seems. There we go. Okay. Let's flip it over. Oh, nice. That's actually a pretty cool pull. Pretty cool pull. It is the, the Pikachu. But once again, without the, you know, 25th, 25th anniversary stamp down here. So this is kind of, kind of cool. Let's see. And we have the Lugia. Nice. Okay. So this is what we've gotten in that promo pack. Let's see what we can find in this, in this fat jumbo pack right here. Of course, filled with a bunch of comments and then like only one pull, which is kind of why I don't like these fat packs. And why I, well... Before knowing, I actually did um, did choose the Nine Colors Gathering Blister Booster Box. Well, I didn't know it was Blister Booster Boxes at first. But I do quite like the 
more packs, but, you know, less cards in the packs. Let's see what we can find here. Zarena, that's really cool. Illustrated. Here we are already at the item cards. Nice, we've got, we've got Caitlyn. We've got Caitlyn, we've got Mustard. We have, who's this? Professor's assistant or something? Can't think of the name. Of the proper name, at least. One of the Tapus. We have a Stoutland, I think this one is. And we have a Golden Frostlass. Yo, we actually have a Golden card and then two reverses at the end there. Okay. Well, that one was better. The Stoutland is whatever. But the Golden Frostlass... Look at this. Of course, I keep saying it in every single opening. Uh, exact same texturing and print quality as Japanese cards. So you're in for a treat if you if you find one of these. And they're much, much cheaper than Japanese versions too. Yo, okay. Well, but anyways, I guess it does it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.